Looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. <laughs> Looks like we found the train, Ron. Try not to scratch the paintwork or my dad will kill me. Speed boost to stay ahead of the train and watch out for any obstacles. Phew, that was really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, Harry. <laughs> that is Hogwarts. Try and land the car in the castle grounds. 
There's something wrong with the car. I don't have control anymore. Mind that tree! <laughs> to the tree and cast a spell at what looks like his mouth. Lupendo! Charge up your cheeks before moving close to the tree, Harry! Lupendo! Lupendo! Charge up your cheeks before moving close to the tree, Harry! By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged, old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago. And for a few horrible seconds, he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! But of course, he had ended up in Gryffindor, along with Ron and Hermione. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on! Where's Snape? And then, from behind him, came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. <laughs> <laughs> 